Would you like to be able to just sit down and play around and improvise at the piano without any music, without any lead sheets or anything, and just have fun? Because you know the theory, you know the chords, you know the scales, and you can just play. Hi, my name is Gerald Simon. I'm the founder of Music Motivation and the creator of the Cool Song series and the Essential Piano Exercises course. And in today's video, I'm actually going to do a follow-up video from a video I posted a few days ago on my YouTube channel here, where I was teaching and explaining about how to do modal jazz. Now, at the end, I started just playing around and improvising, and several people wanted to find out what the chord progression was and how they can take that chord progression and just start playing around. So we're going to show you today how to improvise using the Dorian mode with the right hand and how to take minor seventh chords with the left hand and just play around and have fun. I'm excited to show you this. So in the video today, we are going to take a simple chord progression with the right hand and the left hand, and we're going to break it apart. Now with the right hand, we are essentially taking a C minor 7th chord, and then we're going to add in D, F, A. So if I play those, that becomes my C Dorian mode. Now Dorian mode... In my previous video, we talked a little bit about the modes, and we go into more depth in my Essential Piano Exercise course, but the modes, easiest way to think about the modes, I tell students to think about a phrase, I don't play like my Aunt Louise. Imagine you have some aunt named Louise. She's phenomenal. She's amazing. You want to play like Aunt Louise, but you don't know how she does it. So I tell students, I don't play like my Aunt Louise. I is Ionian. Don't Dorian play Phrygian like Lydian, my Mixolydian, Aunt Aeolian, Louise Locrian. We're just going to talk about Dorian today, so don't even worry about the rest. To create the Dorian mode, whatever key you are in, you're going to take your third and seventh intervals and go down half a step. So if I'm playing a C major scale, I'm going to play C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. That's my C major scale. Well, the third and seventh tones from that C major scale is E and B. If I take those and go down half a step, with each I will have E flat and B flat. Well, C Dorian has an E flat and a B flat. Technically, it's the second step in the key of B flat major. Remember that phrase, I don't play like my Aunt Louise? I is Ionian. Ionian would be, if you were in the key of B-flat major, B-flat Ionian would be your B-flat major scale. So it goes in order. I don't, Dorian, C Dorian would be C, D, E-flat, F, G, A, B-flat, C. Well, the right hand is going to take those notes and just play around with them. The left hand, we're going to follow a simple chord progression. We're going to play a C minor 7th chord in root position. So I have C, E flat, G, B flat. And then I'm going to go down, and now I'm playing an F 7th chord. In root position, it would be F, A, C, E flat. First inversion would be A, C, E flat, F. We're going to play second inversion, which is C, E flat, F, A. So again, C minor 7th chord root position. And then we go down to an F 7th chord second inversion. And then we're going to jump up and go to a D minor 7th chord root position. And then we're going to jump and pull these two fingers down. Now this is a G minor 7th chord in second inversion. So we do the D minor 7th in root position, and then the G minor 7th chord in second inversion. And then we go up to an E flat major 7th chord in root position. And then we go down to this chord right here. Technically, if you think about it, there's your A major 7th, 
There's your A7, there's your A minor 7, A minor 7 flat the 5th would be A, C, E flat, G. Okay, your half diminished 7th. Well, we are inverting this. See that right there? That's my A minor 7 flat the 5th, or you can also think of it like a C minor 6th chord in first inversion. And then we'll go to a D minor 7th chord. And we will end with that G minor 7th chord 2nd inversion again. Now, that may be a lot to remember, but that's it. Watch, C minor 7th, root position. F dominant 7th, 2nd inversion. D minor 7th, root position. G minor 7th, 2nd inversion. E flat major 7th, root position. You can think of it like a C minor 6th, 1st inversion, or an A minor 7th that we've inverted, 2nd inversion. And then we go to the D minor 7th, root position, and the G minor 7th, 2nd inversion. That is what we are doing with the left hand. With my right hand, I'm just going to play notes from the C Dorian mode. C, D, E flat, F, G, A, B flat, C. Watch this. Now, I haven't tried to put any additional notes in with the right hand, but we can start to do some grace notes or crush notes where we're actually hitting quickly. Now, we can also start to do the chromatic scale with the right hand. Chromatic just means you're moving up in half steps. Going up or down in half steps. We could also do the blue scale going up and down, the C minor blue scale, which is often sometimes referred to as just the blue scale. Unless they say the major blue scale, they are primarily referring to the minor blue scale. The C minor blue scale is C, E flat, F, F sharp, G, B flat. And then you can hit the C and carry on, go up another octave. Or you can just go up and down one octave. Well, we can do that same left hand chord progression while the right hand is improvising with the minor blue scale. Watch this.
and then you can combine and put it all together and just play around and create something like this. Have fun, play around with it, see what you can come up with. It's a fun pattern, and that is what music is all about. It's finding the chord progressions, it's learning the scales, it's learning the modes, it's learning how you can package everything together and play around with it so that you can create, you can improvise. I like to refer to it as theory therapy, to teach music theory the fun way. I refer to it as the practical application of music theory, but also innovative improvisation to learn how to improvise on the piano, how to arrange, how to take the same song and play it 100 different ways. I actually came out with a book that is used in my course Essential Piano Exercises, and it is titled 100 Left Hand Patterns Every Piano Player Should Know. Play the same song 100 different ways, and it has 100 different left hand patterns and then it has 100 songs in fake book format and the whole purpose of that book is to be able to take 100 different songs and play them 100 different ways in every key signature moving up in half steps. The other book used in the course is my Essential Piano Exercises book and this is Essential Piano Exercises Every Piano Player Should Know Learn Intervals, Scales, Chords, Modes in Every Key we actually have several new books that will be added to the course, Essential Jazz Piano Exercises, Essential New Age Piano Exercises, about chord progressions, how to compose music, how to arrange hymns, how to... There are so many different books I'm adding to this, and each of the books have video lessons where you can learn the music theory by me teaching it to you. So if you'd like to learn more about my course, I'd love to have you visit EssentialPianoExercises.com You can learn more about the course. I'd love to have you join. We have members from all over the world. Right now, as of the date of this filming, we actually have students from 18 different countries worldwide who have joined the course, and we would love to have you join the course as well. Let me know if you have any questions. If there is a video you would like to have me create, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Gerald Simon, J-E-R-A-L-D-S-I-M-O-N. Leave a comment below and then let me know what video you would like to have me create and I will film a video for you that I will share here on my YouTube channel that you can learn music theory the fun way. You can learn how to arrange, how to improvise, and how to compose music of your own as well. So have fun. Watch this video. Share it with family and friends who may be interested in this as, as well. But I'd love to have you check out my course. It is Essential Piano Exercises. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, guys. See you.